Shalom family trying to set up. I'm driving so you will hear some noise in the background. Also, I do have a tendency to struggle for words because of my West Indian dialect. Listen more to the message as opposed to the messenger. Now today's video, I want to talk about a serious topic. A lot of topics that I bring forth, you know what I'm saying, it's more geared towards religion. But this particular topic is more so for my people because a lot of black people, we are caught up with a lot of distraction in the black community. Most recent, we had a Nipsey Hussle situation. But now I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about prepping. That's right, I said it, prepping. Now, when you hear the word prep, prepper or prepping, you think of a so-called Caucasian or a white man. But incidentally, anyone can be a prepper. As a matter of fact, everyone should be a prepper. What is prepping? What is a prepper? Prepper basically means you prepare for disaster while there is peace and safety. In other words, you can't prepare for death when you're dying. You know what I mean? You gotta prepare for death while you're alive. Make your arrangement, you know, your will if you have one, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can't wait until that last moment for the breath to leave the body, you know what I'm saying, for you to prepare. I know a lot of y'all, so-called black people or Christians, y'all rely on Jesus to take care of your every need because Christianity, that fucked up religion, teaches y'all that y'all have to eat of a man's body, drink of his blood, you have to be baptized in his name. And when you look in the Old Testament, none of the ancient patriarchs, right? Like Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, never had to do communion, never had to be baptized in a man's name. As a matter of fact, the only one they had to believe in was the Most High God. Y'all say God, I say the Most High Power. Okay, we never had to baptize, excuse me family, they always interrupt my video. We never had to be baptized in anybody's name, you know what I'm saying, in order to gain salvation. As a matter of fact, in the Old Testament, the Most High say, Israel, Yasharal, the Hebrews, Israelite from the 12 tribe. Only black people deal with tribes, not white people, not the Israelis. Said the Hebrew Israelite, we had an everlasting salvation, right? To the covenant that was given under Abraham. So, in other words, we don't need to be baptized, only the Gentile. If you read, really and truly read the New Testament, you'll see that all that shit is in the New Testament. Don't got nothing to do with us. It said Gentiles. We're not Gentiles. We, so called black people, not all black people, but the majority of the so called black people that dwell amongst each other. We are the lost tribe of Israel. We are the only people that's lost, don't, don't have an identity. You go to a black man and ask him where you from. Oh, I'm from Africa. No, you're not, nigga. You don't know where you're from because Africa is a continent. What part of Africa are you from? We're the only one don't have an identity. So family, what I'm saying is this, right? We need to start preparing and stop depending on this fictitious character in the New Testament, Jesus Yo, Christ, not mine, because he didn't die for me. As a matter of fact, Jesus ain't died for nobody. Maybe the Hebrew, I mean, not the Hebrew, but the Gentiles, not the Hebrew, because last time I checked, we're still living in poverty. You know what I'm saying? We're still getting gunned down, and these devils are walking free. So I want y'all to understand it's time for us to stop and prepare for what's to come. There's a lot of flooding out in the Midwest, and the Midwest is where they do a lot of, um, you know, crop, you know, they, they basically plant a lot of crops and harvest crops and so forth. And if they're being flooded out, which means we're not going to have the kind of um, opportunity to get these food items at a cheap price, everything is going to be skyrocketed. All right. Bear with me, family. Like I told you, all I'm trying to do my best to convey this message. So. I guess what I'm saying, start preparing, start being a prepper, start going out there, pulling out your money out the bank. For those of you who are on public assistance, getting, you know, grant money or whatever, use that money and buy tangible shit. Stop going to the club to get your hair, you know, getting your hair done and your nails did, you know what I'm saying, according to how y'all speak and shit, because y'all want to look good to go meet a nigga. When you have youngins, kids in the household that needs your attention. This is the time y'all need to start using that money, that free money y'all getting, putting it aside, or buying up shit 
putting it aside in your home in the event of a natural disaster or a man-made disaster. There's a saying, prepare for war during peace. Okay, you can't prepare for war when there's a war. So a lot of us are complacent because, you know, we get up every day, sunshine, you know, you get that check coming in the, in the mail still. A lot of y'all have y'all jobs, homes, bank account. Y'all think y'all are good, but y'all are not. That's just a false sense of security. And to add to the insult of a false sense of security, they give you religion. Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, whatever the fuck. Thinking that, you know, you have to believe in this one God. It's one God, but everybody worship him totally different in their own ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Hebrew Israelite, and many of y'all are. We are descendants of the transatlantic slave trade, okay? Not everybody came on the slave ship. There was already niggas here, black people here. On Turtle Island, y'all refer to it as United States. I say the United States of America. Okay, they lied to us. The original Native American were black, original black people. A lot of them went into slavery. Okay, and then for the ones that actually came on the slave ship from West Africa, we are descendants. Like, for example, I'm from Jamaica. Okay, another name that was created or named after European. I'm a descendant of Jamaica. So my descendant or my ancestors were slaves. We came, I believe we came here from Turtle Island because original, originally you had slaves here that were shipped off to the Caribbean because we were like the rebel rouser. We were the troublemakers. So they had to separate us from the slave that remained here on Turtle Island, United States of America. And a lot of y'all like, what is he talking about? A lot of y'all used to hip hop news and gossip. Nah, it ain't about that today. It's about education. So I want y'all to understand, family, that we have been lied to about our history. We are the most side chosen people. If you don't believe me, read Deuteronomy chapter 28 in the Old Testament, the one that your pastor tell you the Lord's done away with it. Malachi, they still say you have to bring tithes and offering to the church. Right, but that part of the Old Testament ain't done away, but everything else is done. Family, we have been lied to, okay? We need to understand that the Mosa has a chosen people who Deuteronomy chapter 28, right? Verse 68 tells you who these chosen people are, and that's us. We're the only one that went on, on slave ship into bondage into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage on slave ship. Okay, the 68th verse of Deuteronomy chapter 28 tells you that a group of people went into bondage, slavery. By means of slave ship no other nation no white people went on no damn slave ship into slavery as a matter of fact those jewish israelis over there occupying that land they was the one that financed the slave trade a lot of y'all don't even know that so i just want y'all to understand family that you know sometimes we gotta get away from all the distraction and focus on what really matters watching reality show and sports and and and, and uh what is it Entertainment and rap music That shit ain't doing nothing for us As a matter of fact That shit is holding us back Because when we are caught up with, with entertainment and sports We are feeding our energy To the, these entities You know what I'm saying Don't you realize When you go to these sports arena Like thousands of y'all And y'all cheer You have opposing team cheering That energy that you emit They are literally gathering that shit They sucking that shit up that's why they create these arenas, sports arenas, you know, uh, places where you go for concert, uh, football stadium. They create that shit because they're harvesting our energy, family. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you. Why you think we are still on the bottom? Because they give us all this distraction, even the fucking Christian church. They play the music and everybody getting into their emotions and pastor come. But well, actually, before pastor come, you got to pay that nigga because if you don't pay your tithes and your offering and shit, you ain't seen him. So they pass the bucket around. I think now they don't even pass that shit no more because niggas are dipping in that shit. Because you got a lot of drug addicts. You know, everybody come as you are. All these people are in this particular, you know, building and shit. All these other different nations of people. All these people with all this sin. I don't want to be around that shit. I don't want to be sitting beside a murderer or a rapist or a child molester or a fucking thief. Nah, I'm good. I'd rather have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the creator, the most high God, who y'all refer to as God. Because I'm a creation, therefore there has to be a creator. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe in the Bible and shit. Y'all say the Bible is a white man's book, and I totally agree. The Bible is a white man's book. The King James Version, that's his version of a story, right? The most high gave... The Lord says in commandments, he gave our records to our ancestors. The devil got a hold of it and hid it. And they took out here, you know, pieces here and there and shit to create their narrative. So I do agree that the white man 
wrote the fucking Bible because God didn't write that shit because there's a lot of contradiction in the Bible. However, I do take away what I could take away from the Bible. The only thing I don't deal with is the New Testament because the New Testament Savior, Jesus, tell you to love your enemy, turn the other cheek, right? Do good to those who hate you, obey your earthly master. And right off the brink, if you're not sleep and you're awoke, you realize that shit is a slave doctrine. That shit was written by your enemy. How the fuck are you going to love your enemy? They don't love us because we're the enemy. They gun us down with our hands in the air. So why would I love somebody that's gunning us down every day with our hands in the air and shit? That doesn't make any sense. God didn't love his enemy when he destroyed his enemy. The enemy of Israel, Yasharal. We are the chosen people. I know y'all used to hearing about hip hop and all that shit. Now I'm teaching y'all something new. So we need... To really and truly go back to the law, statutes, and commandments because there's a lot of destruction, destruction and distraction that is happening around us on a daily basis. And it's time for us to really and truly start planning, family. If you have money in the bank, pull that shit out, keep it at home. Because if the power go out, they talk about, you know, there might be a blackout and shit uh, nationwide. You can't run to the ATM machine go get the money if, the, if there's a, a blackout. You can't run to the gas station to get gas. So pull that shit out now while gas is cheap, while food is cheap. Stack up on some shit. If you got kids, you want to get pampers, clothing, warm clothing. Get the get the winter clothing while it's hot because it's on discount. It's on sale. You know what I'm saying? You don't go to buy a coat in the winter. This shit's going to be expensive because they know you need it. I mean, family, you got to start thinking. You know what I mean? Get water, non-perishable food item. If you have a home, if you have storage, get some gas container, gas that bitch up, put it somewhere where it's not flammable. You know what I'm saying? Probably don't put it in nowhere. Now that summer is, what is it? Summertime, you don't want it, you know, out, outdoor where it's hot. You want to put it somewhere cool. But I'm telling you, family, I'm a black individual. I used to be a street nigga. And I'm learning from these white people. Why y'all out there as women, you know, getting y'all hair did and your nails done and shit for the club? These people are should you know pl plan it they're stacking up shit they teaching their kids how to uh how to defend themselves notice when you look at a black person they teach them how to play basketball and shit how to dance meanwhile you got these white people teaching their kids how to shoot a motherfucking gun how to shoot niggas because they know what's to come hopefully we won't be here because the most i say he's going to gather is elect the ones who are following the law of stats and commandment, the dietary law, not the one that's going out there following after other gods like white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? The God of the New Testament, the savior of the New Testament. If you read the New Testament, he tell you, Paul tell you that he came only to the Gentile. We're not no Gentile. We're the chosen people. We're the one that's under the curse on the bottom right now. All the other nations is above us to show you that we are the God chosen people. He's going to use us to show his miracle. How powerful you are Because everybody look down on so-called black people But in the end he's going to show The whole world That all along y'all been persecuting his people You know you can't show Miracle In other words if somebody's healthy You can't show miracle on someone that's healthy You got to show some miracle on someone that's about to die We are literally dying We are walking fucking dead Because not physically but Spiritually, mentally, historically We don't even know who we are so he's going to he's going to gather the so-called black people, his chosen people from the 12 tribes. Only black people deal with tribes. White people don't deal with tribes. That's how you know those Israeli devils over there call themselves the real chosen people. You know what I'm saying? They don't deal with white people don't deal with tribes. They deal with clans. We are the only people black people deal with tribes. That's how you know the most high chosen people are from the 12 tribes. They say, "Oh, we are cursed because we are under Ham. Ham wasn't cursed." Ham's son Canaan was cursed The African, the Hamitic people Those are the ones that's cursed That's why a lot of them are going through what they're going through Because they, are, they actually orchestrated With the so-called European and Arabs To put us into bondage, into slavery They're the one that pointed us out to these devils Because we're not like them I'm Giving y'all a history lesson So Ham wasn't cursed All that shit they teach you in the Mormons That the black people was cursed And in the Christian church that Ham was cursed And we're descendants of Ham, no uh -uh. Ham had other sons One of his sons Canaan Was cursed because of what he did See I don't know y'all Bible Because y'all let the fucking Agent of the devil which is the so called Pastors read the teach y'all Bullshit y'all paying him every Sunday To teach y'all bullshit Let me ask y'all a question Why does it take Some of y'all going to church 40-50 years Why does it take 40-50 years for y'all to learn God 
the average co college age, like I said before my past video, the, the, the average college you go to is a four year college. By then you're supposed to learn a lot of shit. Even going to high school, why does it take that long for you to learn God? Don't y'all see something is wrong with the situation? Every single day, y'all going to church every weekend, right? Going to church, paying tithes and offering to these fake ass pastors that's leading y'all astray, not realizing that tithes and offering was only supposed to be paid to the Leviticus priests. Yeah, they say the, the Old Testament is done away, but yet still they still use that Malachi shit in the Old Testament to try to take y'all money. Y'all don't have to give your pastor tithes and offering anymore, family, because only the Leviticus priest was supposed to get it. You're supposed to bring 10% of your, of your harvest, and the Leviticus priest presented to the most side to bless it for another year. If you didn't bring 10%, then you, your harvest was pretty much cursed for the next year. And then the 10% that was bought was given to the Leviticus priest to give to the homeless.